Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page three of Underwater Love, page three. And I've got two bifolds that are gonna go on top of our mat here. And these are eight by four, eight by four, and you're gonna score at four inches. So you're gonna score it in half. Eight by four, you need two of those. And we're gonna go ahead and dress them or at least one of them, the lower one. And then I'm going to add this with, um, I think with a magnet behind it, uh, but I haven't, haven't figured that out yet. So, well, let's do that. Let's plan the magnet first, because I've done this before and gotten to the point where I was like, ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna hold it all together. So we're gonna have, um, one is gonna open up, one's gonna open down. They're gonna slightly overlap, like so. And I'm gonna come in from the edge, uh, I think about a quarter inch, quarter inch here, quarter inch here, and then they're gonna overlap. One over the other. And then I'm planning on holding all of this together with a magnet. So let's see, that needs to come in a little bit more, like so, so let's see. How much overlap do I have? A little bit, okay. So I changed my mind, they're gonna come in um, a half inch from the side and a half inch from the bottom and I'm going to put a reference line Actually, we can go ahead and glue this down because it's not going to have a magnet. Then I'll, I'll do my reference line based on that. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. And we actually used this side on page 2. Okay, there we go. Now we can do our half inch marks. I'm going to go a half inch from the black, not from the designer paper. this down. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna check it. That looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with this coming down. But before I do that, I want to put my designer paper down. I have to think about that. So, both the bottom of these will be dressed, but they're gonna overlap each other. And then the magnet mechanism is going to be um, part of this flap. Yeah. 
So really, let's get our marks in and then I think we can figure out where the magnet's gonna go. And we want to be half inch. So we're gonna have a magnet there. Let's go ahead and add our designer paper down here. So I am using 12 by 12. So, and that's why I wanted to put this down because I want this to overlap like so. Um, and you can cut that or cut around it, but it's easier to just put it down and mat it. And then we're gonna have a layer here too. And that is going to be this, which is also from the 12 by 12. I'm going to turn everything upside down so I can see my reference lines here. So let's go ahead and finish decorating the inside. So let's make sure we're right side up again, and we are. So we're going to alternate the pattern. So I'm gonna bring these stripes back in. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here. We're gonna bring in the alternate pattern, which is this one.
There we go. And now we're ready for the A side, which is, this is pulling the pattern back in from page two. I had a brief moment where I thought I was putting these upside down, but that's the right side. That's the right way. And here's our last piece. Now, as you can see, this looks a little bland, so the way I'm gonna um, perk it up is by adding this piece here. I've got a one inch strip down here, and then I'm just gonna glue down below that, and I'm looking to center it from this corner to the edge of this. Good. I'm going to burnish that all into place. Okay, so that is page three, and so I'm going to pull back in page um, two. So this is page two, page three. I thought this looked a little bland, so I made a quick card. This is one of the cut aparts in. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's the 12 by 12 collection pack, but I'm not sure. But it's one of the cards that you can cut apart. And I just um, made it a bifold so that I could slip half of it in. And now I feel this really pulls these two pieces uh, or these two pages together. So I'm liking that a lot. So we've got two inserts in page two, and then we've got these bifolds in page three. So that's it for now. I'll be back soon with page... Uh, I guess I'm on to page four. So I'll see you guys soon.